All right, guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let you know that Lloyd and I have created a free members only travel community that gives you access of up to 60% off your hotel stays. It's super simple to join. All you need is an email address or a Facebook account, and you can get access to so many different hotels for a much cheaper price than the public booking forms that you normally use. We'll leave the link in the description if you're interested in joining. Okay, now into the video. All right, today's easy travel day which was supposed to be a... Which was supposed to be a 90 minute flight from Merida to Oaxaca. Uh, has turned into a 12 hour travel day. We're Lloyd and Mandy. We're digital nomads currently traveling the world in search of somewhere to call home. We're currently exploring the incredible country of Mexico, and today we found ourselves on a completely unexpected adventure. We got to the airport about 40 minutes before our flight uh, was supposed to leave. We actually got an email saying from Volaris, which is the airline we're flying with, never flown with them before, that said we have to be here no no less than 15 minutes before the flight leaves. We got to the check-in counter and the guy said, we need to go straight to the gate, um, it's closed. And we had our luggage and we're like, but we don't, we have our luggage, we can't go to the, to the gate. We had no like, boarding passes. <laughs> and he said, just go. So we went and of course the security asked us for boarding passes and we didn't have boarding passes. So he told us to go back to the check-in counter. And then they told us we're too late, it closes 45 minutes before the flight. We can't go, we can't get on the flight. But I said, but you told us we have to be here 15 minutes before the flight, not 45 minutes before the flight. I showed them the email. So luckily they put us on a flight to Mexico City and then we have about a six or seven hour layover in Mexico City. Then we're flying to Oaxaca tonight. This is officially the first time ever we've missed a flight. That's pretty good average. We've been traveling for almost a full year and this is the first time. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> At least I can sort of confidently say it's not our fault. We think. <laughs> Hour one. A chai with soy milk. We found it at the airport. How rare. considering going and trying to find a camera store to buy a new one. Yeah. But it's a bit risky. <laughs> I don't want to miss two flights today. Yeah. <laughs> we just
just passed the exact spot that I fell asleep on the floor when we first arrived here from the Philippines. Um, <laughs> not my best moment. That was probably the worst travel day we've ever had. It was the worst. <laughs> it was like 30 hours of travel and then our plane was delayed. And then we got into Mexico at like 1am. No, it was like 11pm and we couldn't get into our hotel. And my leg was infected. Oh, and that's Andy right. And had a stomach parasite. It was oh, bad. It was so bad. Much better spirits yeah. today. <laughs> I've never had chilies before. What's it like? I've never had it either. I don't think. But I have a weird obsession with it just because of Michael Scott on The Office. And Lloyd's had this weird thing about wanting to come here since we've been in Mexico. I didn't realize they had all these American chains here until we got to Cancun. And they're like chilies and um, IHOP. And you love it. Yeah, lots of American chains around. Oh, we went to. Olive Garden in Cancun. Oh, Olive Garden. It lived up to all the hype. <laughs> it didn't really. No. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't great. Pretty much just a, a bowl of corn chips for breakfast. I thought chilies was meant to be good. It wasn't that good, eh? <laughs> My shit house. <laughs> Should've gone to IHOP and got pancakes. Now I feel sick. I'm trying to find somewhere that sells cameras but we don't know where it sells cameras. I don't think we're gonna have any luck finding a camera store here. expecting to see Mexico City today. It's a pretty cool city. The weather's really beautiful, it's not too hot. Just jumped in an Uber, we're gonna see if we can track down the camera that we want. We're hoping to get the Canon G7X Mark III. We've had the Mark II before and it was awesome. We had it for four years and it was really good camera. Uh, we just wanted the Mark III because it has external audio option with it. Um, the audio was just not that great with the Mark II. It wasn't bad, but um, we definitely need the external audio, so hopefully we can find that today and not miss our connecting flight to Oaxaca. <laughs> we actually filmed our first travel video on, well, Mandy did, four years ago on the Canon G7 X Mark II. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we should put a clip in. We didn't really understand YouTube at that Yeah. 
tried three camera stores. We found one store that had the G7X Mark III that we wanted. Oh, I might get some water. But he's charging double the price is what it's available on Amazon, so... Uh, we're gonna keep looking. We gotta go get our flight pretty soon. Another one. How many camera shops are there here? So many. We've been to like six camera shops. so cool. I'm so excited to come back here soon. Properly explore it. Looks absolutely awesome. And no luck on the new camera, but we did get a little tour of Mexico City, which was awesome. I wasn't expecting to be here today. No. I love how spontaneous this was. Hopefully we don't miss our next flight. <laughs> I do have a prediction it's going to be delayed. I guess we'll find out. Just a feeling. I do too sort of have that feeling, but maybe we're manifesting it by saying that, but <laughs> we'll find out. I think it's just because our last flight in Mexico, from Mexico City was around this time and I got delayed. Yeah. It always seems like domestic flights that are later in the day are always not on time. But we'll find out. say it's delayed yet. Um, so we don't know what's going on but we're just gonna be here having a beer. We weren't gonna drink today but then life happens. So. Yeah well when you're stuck in an airport for essentially all day um, comes yeah, time when you gotta have a beer. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Called it two hours delayed. So it's now five o'clock. It's about 12 hours from when we left our hotel in Merida. We've now got another probably two hour wait for our flight. We're on our third beer. I don't know how many we're gonna have. Um, I just had a feeling it was gonna be delayed. But. Yeah, but it's an adventure. Hopefully we make it there tonight. <laughs> as long as we make it there. So. The waitress asked us where we were going and we said Oaxaca and we were asking her about the gate number because it doesn't say the gate number until like 30 minutes before your flight and because we said we are going to Oaxaca she kind of just laughed and said I'm sure you'll be there in a few hours and that's when I went and asked the information desk and he said yeah it's delayed two hours. Yeah. This must be a regular thing. Just like we said usually these afternoon flights I feel like around five o'clock the after work flights where it's just because all the flights before it were backed yeah. up already and were already late so now this one's just accumulated all the lateness from the flights before it. <laughs> so so far Valaris not being the greatest. Would I recommend flying Valaris? Probably not. Would I fly with them again? Yeah, because they're cheap. Yeah, we probably will. <laughs> if I had a lot of money, I probably wouldn't, but we will. Yeah. 
In fact, I think we've got another flight with Lara. Yeah, awesome. Also, the reception closes at 10.30 in Oaxaca, so we need to get there before then. I didn't know that. Uh, we should be getting there around 9 at the moment. If the flight gets delayed any further, we might have a little bit of an issue of having nowhere to stay tonight on top of all this. All right, we have a plane that's going to leave, apparently. Hopefully, it was a bit confusing. A bit confusing. Not fully sure it's going to, but... You have to go to the Valaris desk and ask them what time it's leaving. And he didn't really give me a definitive answer. It says 7.15 on the thing. And I said, how long until it's boarding? He said 15 minutes. And he said, head to the gate. And I said, do we have time to get something to eat? And he said, head to the gate. So it's either leaving he in... said yes, head to the gate. You have time to get food, but yes, head to the gate. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still laughing at the fact that some guy stepped on a sauce packet and it exploded all over you. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my new socks. <laughs> These are the worst airplane pockets. What are you supposed to do with that? You can't even put it. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with it? It's useless. challenge. Hopefully we have somewhere to stay at home. We left at five this morning, didn't we? Yeah, that was the longest 90 minute flight ever. <laughs> oh but after everything, the check-in here was awesome. Yeah. I had the right room for us. We got free breakfast. She said we got free yoga tomorrow if we want. Everything else just went to shit today. But I think it just shows like, we get a lot of these travel days where everything just goes wrong. But it's about your attitude. Like today, usually I think I'd be really annoyed and upset, but if you can't control it, there's no point getting annoyed about it, is it? I definitely got over it when we had to line up for the taxi. Um, well, that, that was that that was my breaking point. Um, didn't understand why that was the setup, why people can't just grab their own taxi like everywhere else in the world. Um, obviously I'm still salty about it because I'm tired. <laughs> um, but we made it, we're okay. And the fact that I get free yoga tomorrow, clearly I need it. Um, it's all good, we're gonna head to bed. <laughs>